more about tires today. Like Non-stop about tires. Today we're going to talk about tire markings. Tires come in a variety of sizes, ratings to accommodate the wide range of vehicles and driving situations. To help select the most appropriate tire for a particular application, tires use common sizing and rating systems. All tires meeting legislative codes must have the following information clearly marked on the sidewalk. Tire sizing and rating system. The size of the tire must be appropriate for the vehicle application and intended use, unless you want to put 22s on there. It's up to you. The vehicle manufacturer designates the recommended size and load ratings of the tires to be used on each particular vehicle. The B diameter must match the rim diameter. You can't put a 15 inch rim on a 17 inch rim. The section width must be suitable for use on a rim and large enough to have a suitable load carrying capacity for the vehicle. So big giant trucks with little tiny 35 aspect ratio sidewall and 22s, not so much. Mm. The overall tire size must follow sufficient clearance between the tire and the chassis of the bodies and components. Again, low profile tires, big tires, little car, it's going to rub. The section width of the tires is measured in millimeters by the tire manufactured from the sidewall to sidewall when installed on a standard wheel, inflated to its recommended pressure and without any load on it. The section width will vary from a manufacturer to manufacturer. Do not assume the tires with the same section width are all the same. The aspect ratio of a tire is the ratio of its height to its width. It's usually given as a percentage. Information on the tire aspect ratio is now included in the sidewall marking along with the type of construction and speed rating. The lower a tire's aspect ratio, the wider the tire is in relation to its height. An aspect ratio of 75 means the height of the sidewall is 75% as much as the section width. Generally, the higher the aspect ratio, the smoother the ride, uh, but there will be more flex during cornering. Low profile tires have very short sidewalls and can be difficult to remove and install. They have an aspect ratio as low as 25, and I always say, not it, not me. The low profile tire improves corning performance but sacrifices a smooth ride. There is a greater danger of wheel and suspension damage when hitting potholes. Often low profile tires will have a higher speed rating as there is less centrifugal force trying to throw the tire apart. Tire ratings for tread wear, traction, and temperature. One of the markings on the sidewall of a tire is a uniform tire quality grading rating. As discussed previously, the tire's UTQG rating provides information on three aspects of the tire's durability and operational characteristics, tread wear, traction, and temperature. The tread wear grade. The tread wear grade comes from testing the tire in controlled conditions. The higher the number, the longer the life expectancy of the tire as compared to another tire from the same manufacturer. Since no one vehicle will be subjected to the, exactly the same surfaces at the same speeds as the controlled conditions, the number can only be an indicator of expected tread life in normal conditions. The rating is based on percentage of projected wear life. For instance, when looking at two tires from the same manufacturer, one tire rated at 400 has a projected life of four times that of a tire that is rated 100. Traction grade is a letter based. The rating based on the tire's ability to stop a vehicle on a wet concrete asphalt in a straight line situation. It does not indicate the tire's corning ability. The tire traction indicators are rated from the highest to lowest as AA, A, B, or C. It is important to note that the relevant rating does not indicate hydroplaning resistance dry or snow traction ca capacity, or the cornering capability in wet, dry, snow conditions. The temperature grade is a letter based on a test performed by the tire manufacturer and overseen by the U.S. government. The goal of the test is to determine how well a tire stands up to heat and measures how well the tire dissipates heat. The U.S. government uses the UTQG criteria for tire temperature rating. The tires are graded from C 
least tolerant of the heat dissipation to A, which is the most tolerant of heat dissipation. While a C-grade tire runs hotter, it is not necessarily unsafe. Tire date of manufacture code. DOT regulations. There must be a tire manufacture date code stamped on a sidewall of every tire. Must have a manufacture date code on a sidewall. It's either three or a four digit code and never use tires more than six years old. After six years old, they usually are dry rotting and cracking. Codes are pretty easy to read. Reading the DOT code is relatively simple. It's a three digit code. Uh, they can be a three digit code. A, do a, a, dot. a DOT code was used for tires manufactured before 2000. For example, 176 means that the tire manufactured is in the 17th week of the sixth year of the decade, or 1986. For tires manufactured in 1990s, there may be a little triangle after a dot code. For example, a tire manufactured in the 17th week of 1996 might have a code 176. Hopefully you will not be seeing any Sorry, more of these tires on the car, yeah. right? Hopefully. <laughs> if, they, if they are, make sure you recommend the tire changing. Um, after 2000, the code will switch to a four-digit code. For example, 3011 <laughs> means that the tire was manufactured in the 30th week of 2011. The size of a tire must satisfy some basic conditions. The bead diameter must suit the wheel rim diameter. Section width must be suitable for use on the wheel rim and large enough to have a suitable load carrying capacity for the vehicle. The overall tire size must allow sufficient clearance between the tire and the vehicle frame. All manufacturers mold information about the tire into its sidewall. In cross-ply tires, the bead diameter and the section width are stated in inches. For example, 600 by 16 indicates a tire with a section width of 6 inches and a bead diameter suitable for fitting a rim which is 16 inches in diameter across the bead seats. The load capacity is indicated by the ply rating, for example, 6 PR. The aspect ratio of a tire is the ratio of its height to its width. It is usually given as a percentage. The lower a tire's aspect ratio, the wider the tire is in relation to its height. An aspect ratio of 98% means the section height of the tire is slightly less than the section width. This is called a cushion or balloon tire. An aspect ratio of 88% means the height is 12% less than the width, giving a lower profile. It is called a medium low profile tire. The profile of cross-ply tires was reduced further to between 78 and 82 percent, called a super-low section. However, the stiffness of cross-ply tires makes them unsuitable for further reduction in profile. Radio-ply tires have been manufactured in 78 percent profile, but are also made with further reductions in profile, from 75 to 45 percent. One of the markings on the sidewall of a tire is a Uniform Tire Quality Grading, or UTQG, grade. The tire's UTQG rating provides information on three aspects of the tire's durability and operational characteristics. They are tread wear, traction, and temperature. The tread wear number comes from testing the tire in controlled conditions. The higher the number, the longer the life expectancy of the tread. Since no one vehicle will be subjected to exactly the same surfaces and at the same speeds as the controlled conditions, the number can only be an indicator of expanded tread life in normal conditions. The rating is based on a percentage of the projected wear life. For instance, a tire rated at 400 has a projected life twice that of a tire rated at 200. There are many factors that influence wear, such as vehicle speed, road surface, climate, vehicle wheel alignment, and the driving characteristics of the driver. As such, the rating can only be an indication of the anticipated wear characteristics of the tire in controlled conditions. 
Attraction rating is a letter-based indicator system. The rating is based on the tire's ability to stop a vehicle on wet concrete and asphalt in a straight line situation. It does not indicate the tire's cornering ability. The tire traction indicators are rated as double A, A, B, or C. Double A is the highest rating. It is important to note that the test and relevant rating does not indicate hydroplaning resistance, dry or snow traction capability, or cornering capability in wet, dry, or snow conditions. The temperature rating of a tire is a letter based on a controlled step speed test. The possible ratings are A, B, and C. The rating is a measure of how well the tire dissipates heat and how well it handles the buildup of heat. Excessive heat buildup can reduce tire life or even lead to tire failure. However, while temperature plays a role in the speed capability of a tire, it is not the only factor. It is important to remember that these ratings are based on standardized test conditions and the tests do not reflect tires that are operated in overloaded, underinflated, and or misaligned conditions. It should also be noted that when rated, one tire might be a low A and another a high B. So the actual operating performance differences might be relatively small. It is not uncommon for there to be differences in UTQG ratings within a given tire design. Sometimes a particular vehicle manufacturer will require certain properties for the tire supply to their vehicles, which can affect the ratings both positively and negatively. Sometimes there are differences between small sizes and large sizes of tires in a given design. All of these aspects can affect the actual rating that is put on the sidewall.